In today's video, I'm going to review a product which I could really describe as a game changer. I certainly feel that it would help your game and the majority of you at least, but the simple fact is you won't try it. And that's largely because you won't be able to try it. You see, the thing is in terms of custom fit, there are always barriers. And uh, as golfers, we want to be able to access as many products as possible to see what suits our game. And custom fit can sometimes make that difficult because they don't often have the products that you really want to try. So for example, if you want a new set of irons, all you really get to test is the seven iron. And what you really should be doing is being able to get access to the longer irons and the shorter irons in the bag. But you can't do that. And the thing is, I don't know whose fault that is. In other words, who makes that change? Is it the custom fit facilities that need to ask for more stock and make it more readily available? Or is it a simple case of the manufacturers just don't give custom fit facilities access to clubs like this? Clubs like this being a seven wood. Now I could reel off a number of clubs that you'll really struggle to access in terms of custom fit. Seven woods, seven hybrids, five hybrids. Like I said, four irons, nine irons. You really just as a consumer cannot get access to these products. And I think they're products that we're potentially really missing out on. And in this range today, this seven wood from Stealth has absolutely shocked the life of me as to how good this thing is. But I reckon you'll never get to try it. It's just literally the ball absolutely fires off this thing. Ball flight's incredible, goes for a long, long way. And yet again, it's another product that I will say that you should be considering putting in your bag. The stealth range has been really, really good. Apart from obviously we've heard all the noise about the driver. I think very much the sort of fairways, the five wood, the hybrids, and now this seven wood have perhaps gone a little bit under the radar because of all the noise that was made about that driver, but they are incredibly good clubs and incredibly hot off the face. And like I said, the issue I have is that you just don't get to try them. So I came into Carden Park this morning to their custom fit facility, and oddly enough, they have a five hybrid and they have a seven wood, which I was surprised to see. Literally took the wrapper off it because nobody's even tried it. And I just wonder how many people are going into custom fit scenarios and asking, can they try this kind of club and vice versa how many custom fitters are suggesting that average golfers consider this putting it in the bag and trying it as part of their custom fit so have we become just creatures of habit where we just go in we try a set of irons we look for pitching wedge through to i don't know five iron four iron how many of you are now asking because i know there's been a change i know there's been a move in opinion and mindset i know a lot more of you are asking to put these in the bag but are how many of you Comments down below, I wanna know, are you going into custom fits? Are you going into stores? And are you asking to try seven woods and five hybrids? Because seriously, if you're not, well then you're missing out. I'm so shocked at this club though. This is, as seven woods go, this thing does what it's supposed to do incredibly well. I, I can't believe, I, I hadn't tried it until today. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about how you should try it. I've never even tried this club until this morning and I'm blown away as just to how good it is. Now, one other thing that I've just realized, am I the only channel that actually reviews these kind of seven woods, five hybrids as well? That's another interesting fact for me, because I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure anybody else out there in terms of YouTube is taking any notice of this kind of club. And I should clarify, that's not an actual criticism of the YouTube themselves, but in terms of samples, what are sent for test, very rarely, if ever, I don't think I've ever been sent a five hybrid, a, uh, a heaven wood in the Callaway range, a seven hybrid, a seven wood. That's never something that is sent out. And again, I think that's a big mistake by manufacturers. Also, the question is what makes a seven wood and this one in particular from TaylorMade so good? Well, first of all, I think it looks really good. Got a right balance for me between the sort of size of head shape that uh, gives confidence. That's the first thing in, in the sense that it's, uh, it's got a bit of mass behind it. You also the way the sort of face changes. So you've got black crown, high gloss front line, and then you've got a silver chrome colored face, whatever you want to call it, gray face. And because of that, the contrast between the two colors, you can see the loft. And loft again, visually, I think, gives confidence. So if you compare the sort of almost straight face of a driver compared to what I'm looking at right now, this tells me that this is a little bit easier to hit. They've then got that shorter shaft, all the things you'd expect 
with a seven wood that made this a real appealing club to hit. From a shelf appeal perspective, I think the stealth range looks really, really good this year. So they've ticked all the boxes in that sense. But in terms of performance, well, it just does one thing incredibly well. In fact, probably two things. And those two things without looking at data are the way this ball launches and the ball speeds off the club face. It goes an incredibly long way. I know it's got a decent carry, far more than I'd expect from a 21 degree um, club in hand. And that ball flight is really, really good. For me, I would choose a seven wood for tight par fours and really long par threes because my guess is this is a 200 yard plus carry that I'm looking at here and it would fit in my bag at that sort of top end where things get a little bit difficult but with this type of club in hand and this one in particular with those type of ball speeds but see every shot I've hit down range I'm just looking at the face now I've spread it around a little bit I'm still getting very very consistent results and that's what's so interesting about this particular model from TaylorMade. So this is the part where I pose a question for you to get involved down in the comment section below. And that one is quite simple, is how many of you got seven wood in bag and how many of you have either considered putting one in or have not even crossed your mind as being a potential club that you should be looking at. I'd also like to know perhaps why you haven't considered it, if that is the case as well. Is it a case of accessibility, not being able to try? Just give me a bit of uh, an idea as to what the issues are surrounding this club or maybe you already love it and there's one in your bag. So just let me know either way. Now I'm not gonna repeat the, the sort of standard message that I've got in terms of uh, this channel about why a seven wood is so good. Like I said, it covers that longer end of the bag. It's off the floor, it can play it out the rough. There's so much versatility in there, that's the key for me. But it's this tailor-made product, like I said, that I found in this uh, custom fit center here this morning that uh, really interests me and I would have no hesitation in putting it in the bag. I'd normally go through dry ball data, but what I'm gonna do is I've had a brief look. I'll put some averages on screen for you now. And as you can see, it sort of hits every number in terms of data. But I'd like to take this one out on the course and uh, see how it performs in reality. But from what I'm seeing inside of here, it's just, I mean, that was a little bit off the bottom groove and it's absolutely flew bullet straight, good ball flight, and in a similar position, 200 yards down range. I just really struggle to find any reason why I'd criticize it, or any reason why you, as an average golfer, wouldn't see the benefits of putting that one in the bag. Right, that's me done. So, if you get the opportunity to uh, get custom fit, go into your driving range, your custom fit centre, your pro shop, and just ask them, have they got a seven wood? you can possibly get your hands on and have a little bit of a try because I reckon you'd be as impressed as I am. Right, that's me done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget those comments down below and I'll see you all soon.